All right, so we've got this app, Daybook Pro app, and I think it would be very helpful if I did a video of how this thing works. So here's the opening screen. You can see I've got my classes set up already. The blank spot down the middle is for my lunch and prep period. Luckily enough, I got both of those back to back. Let me show you a blank class. Let's go into eighth grade. And once you get it all set up, here's your class. Actually, this is going to be the, when you create a, a class, this is going to be your first screen. I've got three trimesters, and I just randomly picked that we're going to have 10 uh, units in the year, and it spreads it out. And then later we can go back and adjust that. So that'll be the first screen you're going to put all that stuff. And then once you get your class set up, then this is what your class is going to look like. Pretty basic, and there's not much here. There's 10 units over here. And you can set the number, number of units to whatever you want. And then down here at the bottom, this is the timeline, where if I um, click on the edit button, I can adjust these units to be whatever length I want. I can move them up and down, whatever. And um, actually, it's a real nice visual interface for how your units are going to line up. And then um, that's it. So if I go into one of the units over here, unit one, this is what it looks like. Now, you have to start filling in this information and, and I think create a template before this becomes useful. So if I go over here and I click on my uh, curriculum, maybe it's not allowed me. Oh yeah, you have to click on the edit button first. Duh. So there's the edit button. Then we click on international, change it to United States. I can go through here and select uh, Michigan unit one and type in some basic stuff and then music, of course. And then uh, of course, I'm a fine arts. So we're gonna put in fine arts here. Uh, duration, we'll just say it's an hour. And resources, we don't need to put anything there. And then we start adding activities into our unit. First activity, um, learn note names. You can do anything you want because it's going to be your template for later. And then um, we're going to click done. Now if I click on the little button there, you can see the little circle on the right hand side of learn note names. This takes us into the really useful area. So now we're into the activity and you can see on the left side there's a curriculum area. You can hide it. Of course, I don't want to. And we're going to edit this. And underneath curriculum, then we have an add items button. And of course, the one that I'm very interested in is being able to add in my standards, my state curriculum. And let's do another one. Maybe we'll add in objectives. And then we're going to add one more. We'll just call it um, reading and writing. Big thing at our school. And then we'll add as well the um, assessments. Of course, I probably spelled that wrong, but oh well. All right. We're going to click done. Now, underneath each one of these, then, you now get a little plus button. And if I go to standards, for instance, and I click on plus, I have another edit area. And so now we're going to add, let's see, one of my standards for Michigan is to analyze music. I'm just going to put in some general headings here. Um, one is to perform music. One is to uh, create music. So now we're actually starting to build a very useful template that we can keep on reusing. Now I would have to, what I've done, and I'll show you that in a minute, is I've gone through and I've copied and pasted on the web app all my standards in. It didn't, using the web app, it didn't take very long. I can't imagine trying to do it on my iPad, but 
All right, so we're going to click Done. And then um, we'll just say, for, just so you can see this, that we're going to use uh, Create Music as one of the standards for this in your in activity. So now that one has been added in. And um, we're going to move on from there. So our, underneath um, Assessments, obviously in Playing Music Class, we're going to add in Perform. And then I'm going to also add another one called Written. Okay, we'll click Done there. And of course, let's see, we'll add in Performance as one of the assessments for this activity. And then over here, you type in the activities and such, or, or descriptions for this. I guess you don't have to type or click on the Edit button. So now what are we doing here? Um, activity learn first uh, note all right and of course this is just gonna be basic information you're gonna go through and do all of this set up all your basic information all the different sorts of object objectives you might use for the year you know on the reading and writing stuff I'm gonna put in there the different strategies I use um, all the different sorts of assessments and such and after you've got one of these done all the way with all the different information that you can think of that you might possibly use then you come back here to the unit screen and you use this export function up here in the top and when we do this we're going to not we are not going to leave it named unit we're going to label it um, I'm going to label this basic template. And I would strongly suggest adding some tags. Um, of course, because this is just a basic one, you probably don't really need to do this. But as you start actually adding units for real, I would tag them. And then we're going to hit S export. And now it's in our library. Okay, so now we're going to go back and take a look our screen and let's see did this all come through oh yeah I should have renamed this so that later I can um, I'll know that I changed this one basic all right so now in my class I've got that basic template unit that I've got done and then I've got like all these other ones that are the bare bones that have not been filled in with anything. So now when we come into this second unit, and we know we're going to start a unit, we're going to click on the import button, and we're going to look down here for our basic template. You can see I've got one here that's fully loaded and um, with all my stuff in it. In fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and load the fully loaded one so you can see this. And you just tap on it, and it gives you a warning. Importing this unit will overwrite all data in this area. Are you really sure you want to continue? And of course, since we haven't put anything in here, yes, we do want to continue. So now once this imports, takes it a second, then you'll be able to start going through and taking that template that has all your basic information in it and actually using it. So you can see on the left that input this stuff I've got one activity and um, if I go into that activity you can see here that I've got three objectives probably gonna end up adding more you know um, you're gonna write stuff perform stuff and if I don't want some of these turned on for this unit I just turn them off or for that activity actually and then in the fine art standards you can see here where I've got the long list started of uh, all the different standards and actually I'm looking at this and I'm, this is not my fully loaded one but you can see where I've started adding a mullion and so you just go through and I go okay well let's see this is going to be a fifth grade activity so I go here in art music stand one fifth grade let's see are they going to be singing for this one yes so we should turn that one 
Yes, they're going to be singing expressively, and this is fifth grade. And then I'm done. Reading and writing, they're going to not be reading anything, but they are going to be writing in the theory books. Later on, we've got some different reading and writing strategies we could put in there. What kind of materials? Um, they're going to need their theory books, and they're probably going to need some staff paper for this one. And of course, I'd go through and add and edit things as I needed to. Underneath the learning resources, that one's not too hard to figure out, but you can add from the camera, your library, you can add a link. Um, pretty useful to have that sitting right there. And of course, you'd change the unit name to something more useful, like learn the first five notes and actually change the information. But you've got to have that template done before this actually becomes useful. Hope that helps. If you got other questions, let me know. So now you can see I've got two in here. And we're going. See, I think in my high school band class. I hope all my standards are in this one. It was kind of late last night. No, see, not even all of them are in there. But someplace I've got that. You gotta name things correctly. All right. Good luck. Got questions? Let me know.